Glad to have you join us on Art House. I'm Melinda Akinlami. This week, it's all about group shows. Interesting works of art in an exhibition at the Cole Gallery in Lagos. Then in another part of the commercial city, young creatives display their recent images. So we enjoy variety on parade after we hear from the veteran inspiring us this week. When my paintings refuse to cooperate and talk to me, I make them face the wall for as long as possible. Expo 2 is an exhibition of contemporary works of art created by five young and vibrant artists at this space in Lagos. Visitors gather at this unconventional space to enjoy works done by Okwayemi Pimo, Elisha Kapwa, Bolu Ikuomo Nisan, Mary Jane Ovayoza, and Ajibola Adekombi. Five young Nigerian contemporary artists displaying an interesting mix of aesthetic, conceptual perspectives, and creativity as presented by Silver Screen Arts in Lagos. <music> Expo 2 is a CSR project of the Silver Screen Arts Gallery. Silver Screen Arts tries to bring together artists, contemporary artists, the emerging ones, and give them a platform to showcase their works. So we try to you know, encourage these artists and um, share their gifts with the world as much as we can. That's what we're doing. This edition, Expo 2, is um, we brought together artists who have different expressions in their work, different concepts and different styles. We brought them together to come um, show their pieces. Many of the stories here um, in the works are talking about artists are relating their life experiences. Some of them are relating what they have seen other people experience. Some of them are also relating the beauty that you can find in Africa. So we were able to bring these artists together and um, put this exhibition up so that they can share their gifts with the world. The images capture an array of issues through the eyes of emerging talents who explain what they have brought to the hall from documenting humanity, exploring cultural and societal issues, amongst other things. Basically, my works are aimed at describing humanity. It is a way of documenting humanity's biography. So what I do is I find ways of narrating events, I look at occurrences, history, culture, sometimes religion, and modern events to, to tell the story. So I look for representations, objects, faces, places, people. That's how I do it. And it depends on how best I feel um, to narrate the story. So sometimes I use hyperrealism, sometimes I just do mixed media, sometimes I mix hyperrealism and abstract, depending on what's best, what's the best way I feel to represent what I'm trying to describe or the story I'm trying to tell. The bel esprit is a Spanish um, word. So I titled the artwork bel esprit because it means free-spirited. And the artworks, the art, it's actually a two in one piece. Yeah, I made the first one, then a few months later, like four months later, I decided to, I made a second one for it. So it's like a pair, a two in one piece, and it, it shows the different shades of a woman. It's a very colorful piece because it represents the different shades of, of a particular woman. This particular is an abstract piece, so it shows the different emotions and, and 
and personality that this woman possess as a being yeah so that's what the work is all about the different shades of a woman and how fish spirited she is and how she just wants to work on sunshine and and she's an optimistic person yeah so that's why it's a very colorful piece it shows how colorful she is as a person most of my walls like i have some sculpture piece of sculpture here and they are african face faces like most of my works, I use African motif on it, and that's referring to the African beauty. And that's why I almost do African cultures like that. If you can check all around my works, it's all defining about Africa. And all of our works is referring to what Africa means and the beauty of it and the culture of Africa. So this one of my piece and is African woman that's um, the power in unity. The one behind me is titled Not My Brother's Keeper. It's talking about the hypocrisy of Africans, how we don't like ourselves and we talk about racism over the country in abroad and we ourselves don't really like ourselves. We can talk about the insurgencies happening in Africa, in Nigeria, and um, Sudan, everywhere in Africa. So that's what Not My Brother's Keeper is all about. In reference to the story in the Bible, Cain and Abel, when he killed his brother and God asked him, where is your brother? And he said, I'm not my brother's keeper. So that's what the work behind me is all about. This um, exhibition is uh, for a group of artists, imagine artists like myself. So we are here to showcase our best works. The works I'm showcasing there today are based on a um, series called uh, Landscapes, showing the journey of man through life. So because uh, with every individual, the, the, every individual has a story, it's part of this script. But uh, that's why I thought that we have a unique story. Whatever we're passing through today is not like a, an entirely new thing. It has been experienced before by people over and over again. So this is what prompted me to uh, start working on uh, works telling the story of the um, journey of um, man through life, basically, because life goes in different ways. You know, everything varies from individual to individual. But the reality is that no matter how unique the story is, it's not like um, for every individual, it's not like things are entirely different or strange. So that's it. So uh, the other works I have uh, are from a series I call Love and War. So we're exploring the uh, nuances of love and the other side of it. So that's what we're doing. The idea is to give the audience a fresh view in order to experience enjoy and debate the creative handiwork of these promising hands. For this exhibition, we're just expecting viewers to see and to also appreciate the growing, you know, talent, the growing talent in the art industry. We want to keep showing people that there's so much talent that is abundant in Africa. There's so much that we are, there's so much that we can do. We keep doing all we can in any way to keep helping these artists to share their gifts with the world. What I want them to take home is to understand that the story I try to tell is not absurd, it's not just how I feel, it is relatable and many times it is that I want them to see themselves as characters in the plot, in the story that I'm telling. So this is what I mean, I mean when you come in contact with my works, what you're seeing is, oh I can relate with this, this has happened to me before, or this has happened to someone I know before. It is not, in the, it's not over their heads, it's not in the cloud, it's something relatable. My artworks, I want to send a message of liberty and hope 
most of my artworks are centered around the theme of liberty and hope for the future. Yeah, so I, I want people to see that, that they can achieve their dreams, they can actually achieve whatever they set their mind to do. So that's the message I try to pass across through my, my artwork. Things happening around me is um, what inspires me to create. And right here, this medium is pencil and charcoal, grinded charcoal, blended on paper. I'm trying to tell people that we should try as, as much as possible to love ourselves. When we love ourselves, there's unity, and it can help us achieve a whole lot of things as a country, as a nation, as a continent. Because when we are together, we are stronger. So that's what this work is all about. So um, basically, uh, the number one uh, message I send with the works is that uh, you know, uh, life should not be taken too hard. Shouldn't be taken too hard because your story is not, it's not so different that you can't find such elsewhere. So you just need to like understand, learn from other people's experience as well and see things from their point of view and understand that you are not, even if, no matter how bad things are, at, at um, any point in time, since uh, you you are not like uh, you are not an island. Some of the best works created by this artist have been displayed at this exhibition called Expo the second in the series, as Silver Screen has been organizing such shows to encourage new creatives to keep producing amazing images. Our wordsmith for today is titled Cities by John King Ayofe and the work of art is done by Hakim Ijadwala. There is a city, city christened earth. There is a city beneath the earth. There is a city in the waters of earth. There is a city in the air of the earth. Cities within the walls of a city. Forces elements and doings beget their kinds, mysterious in their stance, prolific discharges. Oh, the physical is merely bare before spirituality. Every city suffers chaos, pains and inflation. Earth is calm, yet rages with countless troubles. Man is the creator of his own storms. The cities have been portrayed with perpetual worries. Man is born of flesh and blood. To flesh and blood he lives and dies. Man spends his ephemeral life dining with iniquities. Alas, the body sow for the soul to reap. There are yet cities after soul's reaper comes. One laid with comfort, another carved of furnace. Our cities on earth shall prepare man for either. Thus, the benefits of mortal cities elevates either. Indeed, cities do elevate. Thank you so much, John, our wordsmith for this week. And I trust you enjoyed that group show. We'll have another one when we return in a moment. Join us again. These are the works we sent in this week. Let's begin with this one called Northern Nigeria Palace Guards. It's an oil on canvas work by Simpson Madi. And this acrylic on canvas piece is done by Light Ghana Ghana and it's untitled. The inspirational ginger is what Victor Morawo is giving his audience with this mixed media on canvas piece.
Dara Simi in his place of stimulation. It's a charcoal and acrylic on canvas work done by Samson Adetunji. Then Seasons is a watercolor on cardboard piece done by Ayo Ogumola. The yellow rose is how Imisi Adegbite captures this work done with oil on canvas. Then Kane De Mayawa is giving us this euphoria too. It's done with acrylic on canvas. Then Samuel has a head full of toys. It's an ink and digital painting. And that concludes the works of art you sent in recently. We appreciate you for sending them in and encourage you to keep them coming. on me that's the title of a group show at the co gallery in lagos interpersonal relations and transnational connections on the african continent is what six contemporary artists are exploring at the co art space in lagos in an exhibition called lean on me curated by bryce arson young q this exhibition explores interpersonal relations and in and um, transnational connections in post-colonial Africa through the works of six contemporary artists. We tried to create a space which could be, which could be the mirror of what Africa could be if it was unified through the works of artists who, um, who discuss about spirituality, who explore questions of identity and gender, um, um, share their experiences um, in the different countries where they are from. Um, to the work of artists who say they break as well the identity through portraiture. We have an artist that hasn't been shown in Nigeria, but he's a Nigerian artist um, and has become really quite prominent in his work. His name is Collins Obijako. And we have actually a group show of six artists. The exhibition is split into two spaces to give a proper visual representation of works done by several African literary scholars. was greatly inspired by the works of thinkers and authors like Chinua Achebe, um, Ashil Bembe, Leonora Miano. The exhibition is um, divided into two spaces and it was, this was guided by a statement um, of Ashil Bembe in Art of the Dark Knight, which is one of his uh, book um, on, um, with essays on, on the decolonization of Africa. In this particular um, essay, he, sta he states that to free oneself from a colonial alienation once and for all, and to heal from the wounds inflicted by the laws of race, one must know oneself. To give a good representation of the continent, the exhibitors are from across Africa and beyond, creating works that show influences of their origin. Artists featured in this exhibition come from South Africa, like Turiya Magalela, whose tapestry is right behind me. We have artists from Nigeria as well, with Yagazi Emezi. We have a Collins of Ijaku. We have artists from Cameroon. Uh, his name is Sese Langwe, he's a, um, a figurative artist. We have um, Stephen Price, who's a Ghanaian Italian artist based in Birmingham. Um, and I think we've gone, <laughs> and we have Elage Nsi Dolumo who is a, um, a French Caribbean artist. So if you go around, you, you would get into their world, but at the same time, I think that the works all paired together create this space and allows us to really like go deeper into how we connect with each other and um, how we could connect with your practices as well. The work I'm showing here is uh, a work that has to do with self-love. 
um, I'm trying to talk about how um, we could take care of ourselves more and uh, show love to ourselves. And uh, mostly my works are basically about documenting people, the people around me, the people in um, Nigeria mostly, and uh, the people I find around in the streets mostly. It's like another way to show blackness in a painting. Well, the Wayward series is more about a reclamation of my Igbo traditional beliefs and reconnecting with my personal deity. So in Igbo belief, we also come Igbo cosmology and ontology is we believe in duality of worlds. So the spirit world and the immaterial world and the Wayward series is an exploration of that. When connecting to my chi, my chi is showing me elements of the spirit world. For the curator, the exhibition is also achieving its purpose as the viewers are able to connect to the issues of arts, tradition, identity and connection being discussed visually. We have extremely um, talented artists here. Um, I think that what I love the most about the work is really how through the execution they are really able to, to meet the intentions that they had. Um, we just had one person walk into the space that we dedicated to Yagazi Emezi and understood, and the person understood where the series Wayward begins and where it ends. And this particular series um, dwells with um, Igbo cosmology and ontology. And I think that for an artist like her to be able to get this kind of feedback, it's really, um, it's really encouraging. Ultimately, I can't control the message and how people see the images because it is open for interpretation. But if I had control over it, it's really this message that there is a true pure self within all of us. There is a calling, all of us hear it. There's this little voice in our head that tells us to go left when we have been going right, you know? And it's really a calling to connect to our inner true selves. Through different forms, the artists explore the need for unity of purpose, emphasizing the topic, lean on me. A lot of art shows are happening across the country and we are heading to Edo State, but that will be on the next episode of Art House. On Art House next week, it's all about collaborations. About 20 music professionals join about 30 visual artists from in and out of Nigeria to celebrate the second edition of the Art Mayabo International Art Festival in Lagos. Then we head to Benin, the Edo State capital, for an exhibition organized by the National Gallery of Arts in honor of veteran sculptors Princess Elizabeth Ulu and Chief Ellis Erimona. We encourage you to keep liking, sharing and viewing our page so more people can enjoy the ever bubbly and ingenious art scene in the country. Your art house experience doesn't have to end when the show is not on television. Interact with us on our various social media platforms. See any edition of Art House on our website or YouTube page. Join our very interactive Facebook page by joining the group on Art House on Channels. We're everywhere. That's the program today. We appreciate you for being a part of it and look forward to interacting with you on our various social media platforms. I'm Melinda Akinlami. Do stay safe and keep being creative.